Today, I am excited to reveal to you a very exciting platform for virtual reality. This week in San Francisco marks the 2024 Game Developers Conference. And at that conference, we are going to be introducing the Parsec platform. And I'll tell you about that in just a moment. You know, there are probably 10 to 15 million or more VR devices like this out there in the world. But let's face it, outside of like video gaming and looking at 2D video inside 3D environments and some health and fitness apps, there's really not a lot of VR experiences. And there certainly isn't the tools to help content creator be able to build a 3D environment and publish that to VR, but that is all about to change. Remember back around 20 years ago when YouTube was launched? I sure do, and that forever changed the ability for content creators to publish by uploading 2D videos and sharing that with the world. Well, today, like I said, I'm gonna introduce you to Parsec, which is a platform for uploading and publishing 3D experiences and environments. At the end of the video, I'm gonna share you how you can get early access to the Parsec platform. And I strongly encourage you, if you like what you see today and wanna share this with other content creators or other VR enthusiasts, please feel free to do so. Let's dive in and take a look. There's no way for content creators to create a 3D experience and a place for them to upload it and share that with everyone else. So what Parsec is all about is providing a tool set for content creators, enabling them to publish VR content, a platform that curates and stores all that VR content, and then an application for VR devices where users can browse and access that content. The first place I wanna start is to show you the alpha version of the VR browser for Parsec. Right now we are in essentially a lobby, a browser where we can take a look and move around and access other VR experiences. And as I walk over to this wall right here of these 2D images, I can click on and access any one of these environments. The first thing I'm gonna do is really show you is I built a very simple environment using the VR template in Unreal. And all I did was take that VR template, I went in there, I created an image on ChatGPT, and then I put that image in the environment and I laid it into my 3D world and then I published it to the Parsec platform. Now let's take a look at some other environments so I can show you some concepts. And these are actual environments, real environments, that have been uploaded to the Parsec platform and are available for viewing. One of them is a cigar environment. And think of this almost like a tutorial or engaging content where you wanna put someone in an environment like a cigar bar and talk to them about enjoying a cigar. How do you smoke a cigar? I'm Michael Knowles and these are my rules in three minutes. First, you pick a cigar. Make sure that the cigar is the right humidity. Not too dry, but also not over humidified. It should be solid with a little sponginess. The next one is a museum. This is an actual 3D environment that was published to the web. And we loaded that into the Parsec platform to show you how you could create a virtual museum experience. You're in a museum. In one room, you admire an exquisitely rendered painting of a lush garden by Spanish artist Santiago Rusignol. A picture of a chair, a chair, and a blown up dictionary definition of a chair by Toledo, Ohio born artist Joseph Kosuth. What the actual. Now that we've taken a look at some actual environments, let's start to think about the kind of VR experiences that people like yourself or others could create. So without a doubt, the type of environments that some people want to create are video games. They might want to create environments where people play Dungeons and Dragons type games. Maybe they want to create a first person shooter or that type of an experience or maybe even a fantasy role-playing game. But maybe they also wanna create escape rooms, ones that are more like this Japanese dojo, more fantasy-like environment, or one that has a more horror theme to it. Imagine anything that you can build in Unreal to be able to publish those up to the Parsec platform. Maybe you wanna create a space for a little bit more mindfulness, and you're an artist that wants to create a 3D environment like this one and place some music in there for relaxation and like I said, mindfulness. Really, it's limitless what you can build in Unreal, and I think that that is one category of content that people will create. Along those lines, there's a lot of TikTok content and YouTube content for music, for DJs. So why not build a 3D environment where DJs can play music for audiences in a 3D interactive environment? What if you wanted to have a showroom of products or automobiles and you wanted to publish that type of an experience? You could do that with the Parsec platform. 
Maybe you want to develop your own museum of not artwork, but of objects and make it very interactive, like a King Tut themed museum. You certainly could do that with Unreal and publish that to the Parsec platform. Another idea is like lecture halls or places where people who are thought leaders or who have expertise might want to bring a user into an environment and play video for them or use a 3D environment to teach them information. I think that the Parsec platform is going to be a wonderful environment for education and learning, and especially for all of you that are content creators and want to share your content in a more immersive, themed-like environment that's appropriate for your content. When you think about it, the possibilities are limitless on what you can create with the Unreal platform and what you're able to publish. The next step is for you to get early access and you can get that at parsec.com. I am super excited to unveil the Parsec platform to you. If you are excited, feel free to share this content with, like I said, other content creators and enthusiasts. You can always click on like and subscribe and drop your comments, drop your questions below. and We'll make sure we get those answered. VR is about to change forever, and I'm so glad I had a chance to introduce it to you.